So let's look at, if we look in appendix, or not in appendix G, sorry, in 90.1, this is table 5.5-5, which corresponds to climate zone 5. And so what you used to have to do is look up all of these values, and we are going to need to look back to this page. So typically the first thing that you do in the baseline building is you go to create templates and the construction template. What's interesting is for the most part, you're always under one type of building for the, the baseline building. Now there's exceptions to that, but even so, typically the envelope is one envelope. In the proposed building, we had the same envelope, but the vestibules were different. So we're going to go to the vestibule room type and set the construction to general building, okay? And so you may not follow my logic quite yet. So now we're back to construction, and now this is no longer being used, so we can just delete it. So now we just have one construction template, which is nice, so we don't have additional changes that we need to worry about. And so we go through here, and the slab is not actually defined as far as the U factor, so we'll keep that the same. And so we find roof, and actually this is built into trace now, which is really nice. So zone 2 through 8, so we're zone 5, so we know we're within these constraints. And then we select the wall, 4 through 8, because it's 5. And you notice these are a float number. It's good the way it is, though you may want to go back. You may want to go back in here and put 064 and put 048.